Discussions for Women. My name is Annie Okoye. I am your host. Um, so today is now day two of um, my journey. I am actually taking a trip and decided to take you all along with me. So again, thank you for joining me on this tour now um, I mentioned earlier that I would not reveal locations until um, I've arrived to each location so um, I am currently in New York this is um, second day here um, the first day I arrive I um, was misrouted basically the hotel in which I had reservations with were oversold so I had to um, I had to go to a different hotel so now I'm at the hotel I initially made reservations at um, it's it's the start of my morning and um, the whole purpose um, of this little time away in this tour is to encourage women all over the world to take some time off for self-care. I have um, been utilizing this channel for um, words of encouragement for women all over the world and um, I have certainly been enjoying doing so. But I thought that this year I need to certainly implement um, in this channel a way to just encourage um, women as well to to um, have implement in their lives self care. And I said this in the previous video a lot of times we take care of so many others and we just simply neglect ourselves and it's really 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 time out for that what i'm learning is is that um you are your best you when you have taken the time out to do the things that are necessary and to do the things that are important to you as well so um, what I mean by that is it's so important to take out a moment for you to make sure you sit quietly and talk to God and to make sure you sit quietly and hear what God is saying to you and to make sure you know in your mind and in in your eyes just what God has said and, and what he's doing in your life before you can be of a great help to others now I'm not saying that God can't use you if you're neglecting yourself that's not what I'm saying but what I am saying is, is it's so important that you take out time for yourself and you do special wonderful things for yourself um, and, and while taking care of you, um, what that does is it, it boosts your um, confidence and it boosts um, your ability, your energy levels and your ability to be of help to others more genuinely. A lot of times we find that we give, give, give to people and we give, give, give and we help 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 and it just turned into something that we do and it um, just it it is no longer genuine it's just something that is a part of us and something we do so I want to encourage you ladies not to fall into that category you want your help and your generosity to be as genuine as possible so you know definitely that this can be as as genuine as possible when you know definitely you're taking care of you 
it does not take a lot. You don't have to even take a long trip. You don't have to do anything extravagant. Self-care can be just simply taking 10 or 15 minutes um, of your day and designating that time for you and God just to sit quietly in his presence and to hear what he's saying to you and for you to have an opportunity to commune with him or for for women who may not have a relationship with the Lord self-care could be you know 10 or 15 minutes of the day in just sitting and reading a book or taking the time to just polish your nails or um do something different with your hair. Self-care is so important, and I'm learning that. Um, I had, I I speak with great conviction because I myself fall into the category of doing and giving, and oftentimes it's what I do, and I don't want to be guilty of um, giving. Um, but it's not being genuine. I don't want to be guilty of helping, but it's not being genuine. It's just a part of me. It's just what I do. No, whatever I do, I want God to be praised in it. And I want the Lord to know that I'm doing it um, with great genera generosity and that it is genuine from my heart. So in effort to do that, God has really placed a great conviction on me to ensure that I'm taking out time for myself and doing things that I like as well. You may be a young lady today um, frustrated um, with life itself. You may be a young lady today um, just not really understanding, you know, why your life is the way it is. Or you may feel like um, no one really cares, but you know, self-care, it really helps in that area because before you can recognize the care of other, others for you, you need to know how to care for yourself before. And people say this all the time, you know, um, I have to learn to love me. I have to learn to like me um, before others will, you know, love me or like me or before I can expect the love or like from others. And that's no different from self-care. You want to make sure you take out time, take care of yourself and do it um, with no thoughts of what's going on anywhere else. Take this time and let it sincerely be for you. And what do I mean by that? I mean, in your time, you don't need to be focused on other things. You really need to be sincerely focused on you so that when you get back to other things, you can genuinely um, give your all to those things. Now, um, if you don't know if this is your first time um, selecting this channel or viewing um, this channel, this I um, named this channel Open Discussions for Women. Um, my hope um, with this channel was to be an encouragement to women all over the world. And my deepest desire is to win as many souls for Christ as possible. And I believe each and every one of us have purpose and each and every one of us have something in which we can do um, as a servitude so my own I feel is to reach out to women all over the world and to share um, my faith and to share what I believe in in regards to Christ with them now um, you can certainly check out some of my other videos and you'll see um, just how how you know adamant I am about sharing the word of God there but today is just um, a day I wanted to just you know um, log in with you or sign on and and speak with you all this morning about self-care um, I just just um, I just came out of my quiet time 
Um, and, you know, everything I share with you, I want you to know that um, I am working on these things as well. I consider myself only a vessel and I know that the things that God placed on my heart to share, they're for me as well. So ladies, I just like to say again, take out some time for yourselves. Um, provide yourselves the self-care you need and um, just do not forget whatever whatever you do just do not forget to take moments for yourself now um, this is a Christian based channel I do share the Word of God on this channel I do um, you know provide words of encouragement through the by way of the Word of God um, that is the only way I know to encourage you <laughs> So today, I would like to first, um, for those of you who do not know the Lord, um, I would like to share with you Romans 10 and 9. Okay, so Romans 10 and 9 reads as follows, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That is the first scripture I'd like to share with you. Secondly, I would like to share John 3.16. In John 3.16, the word of God reads that, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So I want to encourage you um, to confess the Lord uh, Jesus confess the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior today and I know you may say well how do I do that Annie um, I'm not I, I'm not sure how I would do that well the very first thing you want to do is acknowledge that you are a sinner you know and so many um, say a prayer and in that prayer um, they simply just say, you know, dear Lord, I acknowledge that I am a sinner in need of a Savior. I acknowledge that you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, that he was crucified for my sins and that he rose on the third day that I may, might never die but have eternity and spend eternity with you. And in this confession, I confess it with my mouth, but God, more importantly, I believe this in my heart. And after doing so, I must encourage you and let you know that every angel in heaven will be celebrating because at this point, you will have given your life to God and you will have um, received salvation. Then secondly, I'd like to encourage um, all of my viewers who just simply just um, have been just following uh, my channel or just um, staying in tune with some of the things that I'm doing here. I'd like to encourage you to find someone, ask God to bring you across the path of someone who needs to know him, who needs to know more about him. And ask God to help you be a vessel, a tool for his kingdom today. Um, and that's all I really have today. Um, again, I said this is day two for me. I am still currently in bed. Um, just got out of my little quiet time and thought let me get some video footage and just share with you all um, on a very personal note. Um, just 
important things to remember in regards to uh, self-care and in regards to um, coming to know the Lord and sharing your faith with others. So this is day two. I hope you have a blessed day today. I do apologize. I did mention um, previously, I'm holding this camera so it's been kind of tough. I did mention previously that I would get out and get some uh, video footage and some um, pictures, but it's been quite a challenge here in New York because the weather wasn't as um, I anticipated. So um, there's been a bit of rain and um, I just, you know, just was not up to going out and taking pictures and things like that in that kind of weather. So um, as I continue on this journey and um, on this travel, I will continue to take pictures and along the way and kind of just talk with you um, along the way. And this is my time for self-care. So this is what I'm doing for self-care, just taking out the time to just, um, you know, enjoy um, life that God has blessed me with and do a little travel. So um, that's all for now. Um, the next time you see me, uh, I will be, you know, dressed and, you know, looking prepared to go out. Um, but I just wanted to quickly, you know, chat with you. So I hope you took something from this. Take out some time for yourself and be blessed. Until the next time, take care.